Hello friends and welcome to Stitch Max demonstration part 7. Earlier we saw many effects and tools along with the making of single sequin objects. In this video we shall see how to do the work of twin sequin and four sequins. Here we have taken a normal sequin run. We select and apply the single style which is important for twin sequin. In the sequin properties we define the sequin size. In the sequin palette we define the first circle sequin of size 3 mm. The diameter and shape can also be changed. In the second sequin, we define the shape and size. The box given helps you define the sequence of the sequence. We insert a row and a column. Then we choose one A sequin with repeat S3 and two base sequin S3 and apply it. As you can see that the sequin A and sequin B have been repeated thrice and arranged in a single needle run. Now comes into picture the stitch length. If there is any overlap in the sequins then you can increase the stitch length and select force long stitch and adjust the sequins. As a result of which, the objects have now arranged stitch to stitch. In the same grammar, you can make changes. For example, we add another column and select A, B, sequin with repeat 2. The sequence gets added to the existing sequence. This can be also applied to a closed object which we want to be sequin filled. We apply it with E stitch and style as Lutkan two frame mirror. Now in the sequin properties, we will adjust the grammar. Like in the single sequin. You can reshape the object and have the sequin maintained accordingly.
Now, if we are using the for sequence property, then we change the grammar by adding a column for sequence C and sequence D H. Now you have four sequence in the arrangement. In case of any overlap, stitch length can be adjusted. These are the twin sequence and four sequence auto fillings. want to alter the properties of selected sequence then you can use the tool fuse editing it works in a way that if you select a then the ones which aren't a in the selected area become a no change is seen if the sequence is already a you can use this even in a dst object There are many other tools in sequin. Next is toggle sequin in area. If you have drawings of objects, wherever you place that object, area of sequin will be toggled or changed. If you press shift and apply the process, it will seal according to the area. You can use the tool of select or remove area to remove or select sequin. Twin sequin or four sequin parameters using which this sequin object can be easily made. Here, there is an option of sequin motif. We can use motif along with sequin. For example, we have two plain motif to which we can apply our sequin. You can also use two different types of sequins. We arrange the grammar and also set the stitch length to avoid overlaps.
If you want to specify a sequin to a motif, that can be done by selecting four style frame. Using this, you can make decorative sequins. Further, we will see some more stitch types. We will see two examples of cross stitch, wherein automation is provided in a better manner. Here, we adjust the size, repeat count and spacing. Let us first make boundary points and label them. You get cross stitches as per the line. You can resize and the crosses will add or subtract accordingly. As and now you draw, the cross stitches will be added. These are the boundary lines of the cross stitch. If you want to add any filled object, then draw it at the boundary points. The shape is filled with cross stitches. Let us slightly change the properties. If you do not want any crop stitch on the object boundary, then select the option of fit to grid. You will get the object filled with cross stitches according to its boundary. There are multiple cross stitch options given. What we saw now was the basic cross stitch function. Let us see some advanced cross stitch features. For example, here we are doing cross stitch with a canvas. Within the canvas, cross stitches will be added whenever you click. You can fill, drag and fill and also draw a line if you press Ctrl. You get a second color to use. In this way, you can use multiple colors in a single canvas. In this way, you will have your design ready with cross stitch. In this as well, you can give excellent different shapes. You use any other shape than the cross. We take reference square of 5 into 5 mm. We draw the desired shape on it. Make sure that the starting and ending point are the same as we are replacing the cross stitch and name it as a pattern.
Now select the canvas and click Ctrl plus W. Now you will see that instead of crosses, you have your desired pattern. So now, as you click, the cross stitches will appear. This way, you can apply various patterns. The routing will be automatically punched. This is cross stitch and its features. Thank you and stay tuned for our next demonstration.